Hello, Cedar Lane School community, and welcome to our October video newsletter. We are joined today by the wonderful and talented Miss Catherine Green. She comes to us from Stonebridge High School, a graduate of James Madison University, and we are very blessed to have her here on our team at Cedar Lane Elementary. Now, she's not totally new to us because she student taught with us last year. Um, she taught with uh, Miss Day and Mrs. Nesheim, and we thought she did such an amazing job that I went right down to the JMU job fair, and we got her hired because we, she was an amazing uh, teacher with our students, and we wanted to, her to be a part of our team. So we want to take this opportunity to get to know Miss Green a little bit better. So Miss Green, tell us, um, how has your first month been here at Cedar Lane Elementary? Oh, it's been fantastic. The students in my class are amazing, but not only my class, but the rest of the fourth grade. We have such great students. The staff here has been so welcoming and really, really friendly all the time, and I've just really enjoyed my time here so far. Awesome. I love hearing that our staff has welcomed you and been very kind. Tell us a little bit about uh, your mentor, Miss Day. I know she's been a great team leader. I know you guys have a great relationship. What's it like to work with someone with such great experience? Oh, my gosh. It is I couldn't have asked for anything better because she is always there. If I have any question, I can just text her and I'll get an answer right away. She emails me any materials that I need and just any oddball questions that I have, I can just shoot it to her way and she's awesome. So, yeah, it's Very really good. great. <laughs> One of the things that I'm sure you can tell from this interview is that Miss Green lacks no enthusiasm. What I love about her is she's joyful in her work and she brings a great deal of enthusiasm and excitement into her classroom. And let's face it. That is critical. We want our students to be um, joyful in their learning. We want them to really be excited about coming into the classroom every day. And how could you not be excited when your <laughs> teacher is this enthusiastic? One of the things that we uh, take very seriously here at Cedar Lane is reading and cultivating that reading life and really developing a love of reading. So with that being said, Ms. Green, what are you reading currently? <laughs> so I'm reading what the kids are reading and we are reading in class blood on the river and it's from Jamestown 1607 so this book is about a boy who comes over from England who discovers the new world he gets to go on the journey so now he's living in the new world and gets to experience everything that the colonists did so it's really nice historical fiction story and the kids are really digging it so oh, yeah. awesome mm -hmm. I love to hear that our students are excited about reading so tell us a little bit about what you like to do after school. So after school I am usually found at home hanging out watching TV and then I'll also be reading at night. I love to read mysteries. Those are my favorite. Um, and I also love to be outside. Being outside is one of my favorite things. So summer of course is my favorite season. And we also, I love to be with my family. I have a little sister who goes to Newton Lee mm. and um, I also really enjoy to singing. I love to sing and I did all through high school and college so I'm hoping to find somewhere at Ashburn where I can uh, sing for everyone. <laughs> well I see perhaps a potential uh, staff talent show right here in the works. Uh, maybe you and Miss Hines could get together and do some do some singing because I know you guys would be uh, sing a joyful tune indeed. So one of the things that I think is so very important um, as a school is that we cultivate a culture of um, of kindness and I really am very thankful that that we have teachers like Miss Green who make your students day enjoyable each and every day in the past with our video newsletter I've shared with you lots of dates and upcoming activities we'll do something a little bit different this year um, I'm just going to encourage you everyone to continue to visit our website I'm going to encourage you everyone to download the LCPS app um, and I will send push notifications of upcoming activities. I know our teachers do a wonderful job of communicating to you um, of all the different activities that are going on in the classroom. Sometimes it's probably overwhelming. I'm working with our PTA. They're working to kind of send me one email a week that we'll send out to folks um, either over the weekend or on Monday morning to kind of give you an update of the activities. Um, and we really look forward and I encourage you to take advantage of all the great activities here at our school. This is a vibrant school community. Um, the school is certainly uh, the fabric of the community and we look forward to serving you and your students here. So one final question for you, Ms. Green. Mm -hmm. um, you've had a month under your belt now, a very successful month. We're very proud of the great work that you've done. What now are you looking forward to as we move forward? Oh, just working with my students. I love each and every one of them and their work together as a class, as groups, has been incredible. Um, so I look forward to the rest of our time together and looking forward to coming up with some creative projects that we can do and hopefully produce to the world in our One to the World projects. So, okay. yeah. 
Outstanding. Mm -hmm. I know that one to the world framework is something that our teachers are really excited about. Dr. Williams, our superintendent, um, we've done a lot of professional development under his um, leadership and we're continuing to do that type of professional development and hopefully sharing that excitement with our teachers who in turn share it with the students, really providing our students with authentic problems to solve here in our very own community and having them be engaged in the work. I think that is so important, engaging, exciting work. So, as I said, please follow us on our school website, follow the school on Facebook, follow Cedar Lane on Twitter, um, stay in tune with the activities, and if we can ever be of any service to you or your family, reach out to us. We are here to serve. Thank you very much, Ms. Green, for joining us today. It's been a pleasure interviewing <laughs> you. Um, thank you very much, Cedar Lane community. <laughs>